Hey guys, Tom here, and today I'd like to announce a new series for you, which in my opinion is going to be absolutely epic, crazy, and whatever you want to call it. It will be called the PVM games, and in those games there will be two different teams of different channels competing with each other. One of those teams will be the team of this channel, of course. So, both teams will compete in a number of challenges in which we must kill a randomly selected boss in RuneScape, while being given a number of handicaps depending on how difficult the boss is to kill. Kind of like the climber mode in Dominion Tower, if you know that. Both myself and Jay, which is the leader of the other team, will upload an episode at the same time with us attempting to kill either one or two bosses. A link to Jay, aka Brewer's channel, is up on the video so you can go and check out his videos along with their own point of view of the series. If a team manages to kill the boss, then they will gain a point which will be used as a scoring system. After 10 episodes, the team with the most points will win the series. On screen now will be an example of a fight which can occur during the games. So you can look at that while I explain the series in a bit more detail. So there's 18 bosses in RuneScape, not including the engineering bosses, quest bosses and bosses in which you can only fight after a certain duration of time, like Borg and the Skeletal Horror. We won't do those. Uh, the bosses are put into four groups, which are groups A, B, C, and D. Group D are the bosses that have a low combat level or are simple and easy to kill. Group A will be the bosses which are the most difficult to kill. So, there are four absolute newbie bosses in group D, which are the Tormented Raid, the Giant Maul, the King Black Dragon, and the Mithril Dragon, which should be easy if we get those. Hopefully we do. Um, there are seven bosses who are just not good enough in Group C, which are the Dagonet Supreme, Dagonet Prime, Dagonet Rex, Gaze Elemental, Calphite Queen, Tormented Demons, and Glacors. Then in Group B, there are five bosses, which are Commander Zeliana, Kriara, Krill Tsutrarot, okay, that went pretty bad, and General Grudor, and also in that group is the Corporeal Beast. And lastly, we have two hardcore bosses in group A, which are the Queen Black Dragon and Nex. Now we've been through the bosses, let me explain the handicaps which we will have to obey when fighting a boss in this series. Just like in the climber mode in the main tower, we will randomly select a certain number of handicaps depending on what group the boss is in. For group D, the newbies, we would select four handicaps. In group C, we'd select three. Group B, we'd select two. And group A, we'd just select one. The handicaps are shown on the video for you now, some being advantages, but most are disadvantages of course, that's why they're called handicaps. Most of the handicaps don't need explaining, but I'll just go through the five which might be a bit confusing for you. Firstly, we have the handicap solo only. So instead of both members of a team going up against the boss, the duo must choose who will solo the boss without help from their partner. Then we have the handicap try again. If both teammates die, they have the option to have another attempt at killing the same boss with the same handicaps. Then we have I am a noob, um, which means that the gear and setup each player uses must all be under 100k. That's gonna be bad. Uh, then we have the handicap bring a friend, uh, which enables you to take a friend with you to trio the boss. Your friend will be immune to any handicap, so that's gonna be awesome. Then we, lastly, we have the handicap free food. A friend or substitute can drop any food on the floor for you to pick up and use. If a team gets the no food handicap as well as the free food handicap, they're not able to bring their own food, but can use the food drop by their friend during the fight. After a team gathers one or more point, they can sacrifice a point to randomly select a new boss or handicap to fight. A team can sacrifice as many points as they want, but will want to keep as many points as possible to win the series, of course. I also want to mention that all episodes will have live commentary. Lastly, both teams will be given a substitute player, just in case one or the other's partner is not online to do the boss kill. Other than that, the series will begin next Friday and will continue for around 10 episodes. Hope you are as excited as I am. If you are, please leave a thumbs up and do not forget to check out Bruce's channel.